Hi everyone, welcome back to my math channel MathWeb. Let us start question number 4 from Pure Math 1 Pearson and Excel A level exam. This exam was taken in October November session year 2023. Paper reference code is WMA11-01. Read the statement of this question. Figure 1 shows a sketch of part of the curve C with the equation y equals to 1 over x plus 2. First part, state the equation of asymptote of C that is parallel to the y axis. This is the reciprocal function given here in this question. The standard graph of reciprocal function looks like this. Let me tell you here before uh, giving the equation of asymptote. Coordinate axis, let me draw it quickly. This is y axis and here x axis. Reciprocal function looks like this a over x and value of a is greater than 0. Uh, means this is a positive uh, reciprocal function. With the increase of x value, value of y decreases. When you divide something uh, with a bigger number, value of uh, the result will be smaller than the before. Okay. Like if value of uh, x is 1, you are getting like 1 over 1 is 1, 1 over 2 is 0 0.5, value of y is decreasing as the increase uh, in increase in the value of the denominator. So graph looks like this. You should memorize this as well. When x approaches to infinity, y approaches to 0 but never crosses this line. Same thing happen on the other side. So you should memorize this graph. So graph looks like this. Here, we have two lines here. You know, this is called line of asymptote, horizontal asymptote. And this is the vertical asymptote, this line. This is the vertical asymptote. x equals to 0 along this line. This is the vertical asymptote. x is 0 along this line. And here, this is horizontal asymptote here, y equals to 0 along this horizontal line. As we want the equation of this line, the dotted line here, this is the uh, asymptote here, the graph is not touching this line. If you subtract some, uh, like some number from x value, graph moves towards right. But in this case, graph moves towards left here. How many units? Look here. The denominator is 0 here. Look, x equals to 0 in the standard reciprocal graph. Now, to get the line of the vertical asymptote, this, the denominator should be 0 in that case. So, first, first part, equation of the asymptote, we want the equation of this vertical asymptote actually. Parallel to the y-axis, we want the equation of this line. To get the equation of that line, this denominator should be equals to 0. So, we can put here x plus 2 equals to 0 and you get the equation of the asymptote that will be equals to minus 2. So this is the answer for the first part. Now for second part you need to factorize this equation. This expression sorry it is not equation. So what is the expression here for second part? Expression is x cube plus 4x square plus 4x. x cube plus 4x square plus 4x. The first step to factorize is to taking the common number. If something is common, you have to take it out of the bracket. Look at here, x is everywhere there, okay. You can take it common from here. There is There are three powers. When one power is out of the bracket, it left with two powers only, x square. One power is outside, so it left with 4x only. x is outside, so it left with 4. Now this is the complete square but uh, you know the how to factorize. Factorization method is more easier. Uh, you know we multiply uh, this number 4 with this number you get answer 4. We will factorize further this, uh, this, in this expression. Write all the pairs of 4. 1 multiply 4 is 4, 2 multiply 2 is 4. You have to pick that pair by adding or subtracting you should get the middle number. It is a rule. So this is the only pair that is given you the middle number. So we can write here x into, there will be two more factors here, one will be x plus 2 and other is x plus 2. Because they are same, you can combine them together. So powers will be added here. Here is one power, one power, so powers added, you get the answer like this, x into x plus 2 whole square. So second part is done. For C, on diagram 1, add a sketch of the curve with the equation this one. We already factorized this. It will help us to solve, to factorize our sketch. It will help us to sketch the graph for this function 
x cube plus 4 x square plus 4 x. On your sketch, state clearly the coordinates of each point where the uh, curve cuts the cuts or meet the coordinate axis. Diagram 1, let me search out. This is the diagram 1. You have to draw your graph over this, uh, this one. For C, let me do some calculation. Better you find the x intercepts and y intercepts. You have to mention over there in your sketch. y equals to x into x plus 2. This is the function you have to sketch on diagram 1. First of all, find the y-intercept here. To find the y-intercept, you know, at along y-axis, all the x values are 0. Look here, I already told you, here x equals to 0 along this line, y-axis. Along x-axis, y is 0 always. To find y-intercept, x is 0. When x is 0, you plug in over there, for sure you will get y 0 as well. Again, let me tell you how to sketch the cubic graph because this is the cubic graph, cubic function. The basic, the standard cubic graph looks like this. It passes through origin and it goes like this. This is the sketch for standard cubic graph. Okay, it is passing through the origin. It looks like this if it is positive. In case of negative, it goes the other way. It will be reflected. So this is the y-intercept. We got it. That is uh, y0. You know, when plug in x0 here, you will get every value 0. You will get y0. Now find x-intercepts. To find x-intercepts, y will be 0. When y is 0, you write as these two factors x plus 2 square equals to 0 and here x will be equals to 0 and the other one x plus 2 whole square equals to 0 and you get here x plus 2 equals to 0 take square root and x equals to minus 2. Here is very important point coming up this because it is a square as the cubic function always have three roots the factor involving the power 2 uh, is the repeated root repeated root this is the repeated root okay now you sketch like this your sketch looks like this and let me use a different color here so it will help us we have x0 this is the one point of intersection and here this is the repeated root negative 2 this point is negative 2 you have to mention this one and uh, y intercept is 0 we already drew this one and our graph looks like this way what is the role of the repeated root in, in sketching? You know, it uh, the graph will never pass through that. It will take that turn. It will be maximum or minimum point there in the sketch. So the graph looks like this. It will pass through the origin. And it will take the turn from here and goes like this. Got it? The shape of the graph looks like this. It will go from the origin, pass through the origin, take the turn. And then uh, here, repeated root, it will never close this way. Otherwise, we will have three roots, okay, for sure. You will find three point of intersection along x axis. Here, you have only two x, uh, two x intercepts here, zero and negative two. Therefore, it will pass through, uh, it will never pass through negative two, and it will take turn from here. Got it? And the graph looks like this. The shape of the graph will, should be like this. So, this is the sketch for, uh, for this, uh, this part. Hence, state the number of real solution of the equations. If you rearrange this function, implies that this one is x cube plus 4x square plus 4x is equals to 1 over x plus 2. This is cubic function. You are equating cubic function with the reciprocal function. And here, we already sketch this cubic function over the reciprocal function. Look at the graph. Uh, there are two points of intersection here, two points of intersection, uh, one point uh, is here, the other is here. Uh, the blue line is the graph for cubic function, the black one is a graph for the sketch, or sketch for the reciprocal function. These two graphs are intersecting at two points, therefore there are two number of solutions are there. 
So you could write the answer, it is of one mark. But you have to mention there why we have two, two solutions. State the number of real solutions of the equations are, you can write as, therefore, number of real solutions of the equations are two. What is the reason? You can, uh, you can start with this one as there are two points of intersection. Therefore, the number of real solutions of the equations, equation are two. So this is the answer for the last part. Question number four is done. If you have any question, any doubt, please write in the comment box. Thank you so much.